Hey guys, Leontes here with Sterling Games. And I'm Josh from Dark Goblin Gaming. And we're here to bring you a special unboxing of Codex Card Time Strategy. It's our game that we kickstarted earlier this year and should ship later this year. And we're going to go through all the different pledge tiers of the Kickstarter with you. The um, card sleeves, the starter set, the core set, and the deluxe set. Are you excited? Oh, immensely. Yeah, I, I actually don't know exactly what's in these boxes, but we're all going to find out like pretty soon. So, um, yeah, let's get to it. All right, guys, so we have the... Protective sleeves, there's 100 in the pack. So these are the uh, codex sleeves, open those up first. We're gonna go down the line actually. So codex sleeves, um, the starter set, bashing versus finesse, the core set, which is the red versus green, blood anarchs versus moss sentinels. And then this juggernaut down here, the codex deluxe set, um, which I'm really excited to open that up because of the sweet binder art and stuff. Sure, I really yeah. wanna see how it turned out. So let's start with these sleeves. So these are an add-on. Um, you can get these, they don't come in the, uh, the actual, um, any of the pledge levels, but you add them on. So let's check here. So they're basically, I forget what we said they, what quality they were, but should be pretty good. Ooh, these are tough. Yeah, there we go. Do you use sleeves? I don't like sleeves. I'm just oh, actually, I'm a, I'm a sleever. Sleeve man, right? Yep. Sleeve yeah. it up. Cool. Keep people's dirty fingers off my cards. Yeah, you should, you should feel those sleeves. See how you like them. <laughs> yeah, oh, if you're a third voice in this video, it's actually LK404. We're at his house in Pasadena. Um, so he was kind enough to help us with the recording and to check this out. Wow, these are really glossy and nice. I actually kind of like them. They're pretty thin. Um, we will we'll pop some cards. They feel pretty good to me. They feel about a... Yeah, I'm not a, I'm not a connoisseur of, of sleeves, so you can tell me more about how good they are. Yeah, they feel nice. We good? I'll take them. We'll take them. All right. So we'll pop open that starter set and we'll, we'll, we'll put a couple in there and see how they fit, see if they fit snugly, um, how it all pans out. So we can keep those over there with you. All right. All right. So starter set. So that's the bashing versus finesse. So you got Shrock Bashar on the left and River Montoya on the right. The, uh, the neutral spec lines. My nails are bad. All right. Cool. Oh, it comes off pretty easily if you just get the right part. All right. Small box. This is the uh, the first pledge tier of the Kickstarter. Get you started with the game, teach you how to play the game. All right, let's look at the back. The card art, just kind of the, the spiel, real-time strategy in a turn-based card game form. Very nice. All right, cool. The starter rule book. Oh, these are, this is the thing we haven't seen yet. This is the, um, the health dial did not realize that was going to be in the starter set as well. It's in the starter set. So yeah, this is a health dial. So it's basically just a very simple slider. And you keep your health at 20, 20. And you can slide it and change it up. Pretty cool. That's actually kind of nice. Yeah, feel. Feels pretty good. Got a nice slide to it. Yeah, yeah. I'm going to go. Is it too slidey though? Like, could you accidentally boop no, it? No, if it's on the table, it should be, it should yeah, be fine. Yeah, it should be set somewhere nice. Cool. Yeah, I might get carried away and just play with it during nice. mid game, but <laughs> that's a problem for another time. Cool. Um, the, the tracking chits. This is like gold, um, building, construction, um, the plus, plus minus runes and whatnot. Uh, hero levels, damage, and these are for two-step, which is an ability that River does. Ooh, this is like an official, oh man. Oh. Actual cardboard. So we've been playing with some really flimsy ones um, throughout the uh, the beta and the playtesting. This is a pretty nice like starting starting yeah, board here. Yeah, that's got boards that last, huh? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I man. was not expecting that. I was expecting more, uh, more flimsiness. No, this is this is this is like this is good. And here's our patrol zone. Yep. So, ooh, two sided. Okay. Might as well. Might as well be right. Um, patrol zone. That's like one of the core mechanics of Codex. It's kind of what makes combat what it is in this game. Um, but yeah, pretty pretty compact. Each player oh, gets their cool. own. So you'd line them up. Probably set it up a little bit as to how it's supposed to look. Get that out of the way. Yep. So something like that, starter set. Um, and then inside the box, have the spacers and um, each, Oops, each spec, the little tech cards that come inside. Um, these are used for the add-ons. And there should be a bashing and finesse. Four. Oh, maybe not. Maybe those are only in the core. Because yeah, there's no there's no tech thing on this on this thing. So these are for the, the tower and the surplus. Okay, yeah, the, the starter set keeps it a little simpler. Yeah, you don't need to have the, the add-ons. Yeah, totally. Um, and then these are the truck and river decks. So you can open the truck one. Oh boy, putting, putting the pressure on. Yep, see if you can get that open. <laughs> Let's see here. Is that for river? Ah! It's 
So then you got the River, the Finesse Hero. Pretty good, like, we're used to these. These feel a little bit nicer though, like, this the quality of the card. We've been playing with some uh, Game Crafter quality stuff. Yeah. These feel pretty, these, these feel nice, yeah. like, in your hands. Yes. Um, especially when being used to the other uh, variety. Like laser cut cardboard, basically. These, these, are, <laughs> these are like actual cards. The Dancer Tokens, um, beautiful card art. Let's grab some of these sleeves. Okay. Oh. See how they fit in there. Codex okay. back. This is so you can use it with your other nope. games. If you play other... I don't want to sleeve her. Yeah. If you play your other collectible card games, then this oh. is a way for you to show your love for Codex. In it's the same a snug way. fit. Yeah. It's like a... It's kind of got a perfect fit quality to it. Let's see. There's no... Uh, what's it called? Overlap. Yeah. It's, see, you can it's see, in there. Yeah, you can see like if you look at the corner, so we can get a good shot of the actual corner. Look how close that sleeve cuts to the uh, to the corner of the card. Pretty nice. Good stuff. Yeah. Yeah, you can sleeve all these bad boys up later. Feels good. Yeah, nice. Excellent. All right. So that would be pretty much the contents of starter deck. Oh, starter okay. set. Chits. I'm not to worry about truck, I guess. Okay, we can check it. Show out truck. It's cool. <laughs> Truck's cool. Truck's a good guy. It's been getting a little bit of a... Uh, a little bit of a bad rap lately, but Chalk Bashes. He does his thing. It's big and strong. Okay, cool. So yeah, that's the that's what comes in the starter. I was actually I'm I'm surprised by the quality of the tech boards. For sure. And the uh, and the patrol zone. That's pretty that's pretty awesome. I'm 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 huge into this. This is great. All right, let's um let's move on to the starters the the core set actually, which is the green versus red. And we're gonna maybe get a first look at those those cool binders in there. See? Yeah, this one looks easy enough. Go for it. Ah. Nice. A bit of a there. Yeah, yeah. That's, why, that's why I picked this one. All right, so this is the box for the, uh, the Blood Anarchs versus Moss Sentinels core set. In the back, you got the binder art. Got a little bit of a dent here. This came in <laughs> a little bit messed up. This is mine. Don't worry, yours will be fine. Um, the, uh, this is the binder art for the game, and we'll actually pop this guy open, and hopefully that's the first thing we see. Let's check this out. I'm excited. All right, rule book. So, bigger rule book. The starter rules have a little bit less information in there. I mean, it's like much smaller anyway. But um, this tells you how to play the game with three heroes on either side. Has more advanced rules for um, free-for-all and, and other ways to play the game, so nice um whoa is this gold just like gigantic i just realized that the, the two gold is like huge so more tracking chits um for for keeping track of gold and levels and stuff now let's check that out this is a i think it was just that big in the starter set too but i just didn't didn't yeah didn't do the double take that side yeah yeah like that's that's big compared to the uh the one yeah it's a huge Huge two gold. I like it though. So you just know how much you got. Ah, oh, here we go. This is what we've been waiting for. Here is the red binder for the Blood Anarchs going inside, and it has um, these couple cards custom here. cuts. Yeah, these custom cut um, card pages. So what's neat about these is that Codex is a game where you're constantly taking stuff out of your binder, right? And you're putting them back in at the end of the game. So we thought it would make a lot more sense instead of having the sleeves that go all the way to the top, that you had these ones that are cut most of the way down, or like a little bit of the way down. So as you can see, it just fits in nice and snug. And you keep two cards in. It's just a couple of sleeve cards in there. See yeah, let's get some sleeve ones and see if they fit even better. Those feel pretty good. Oh yeah, right there. But these go in nice and easy and they, they come out nice as well. Um, let's see, sleeved card versus unsleeved card. Seems to be kind of okay. Cards aren't really falling out. See when it gets a little bit heavier. Pass the shake test. Yep, shake test. Wow, that's actually pretty good. I, I was this was like my initial worry with these um, with these sleeves, but it seems to work out pretty good. So when this thing gets all bindered up, it'll be really easy to, to flip through. These pages are really high quality too. I like that. Yeah, so that's the the art for the red binder. It's pretty great. Let me fill that up. Yeah, yeah. This one I was excited for the uh, the green the moss sentinels. Same thing with the custom cut. And let's get to the board. Oh, All other... All right, so this, this one comes with, yeah, a big cardboard version of the patrol zone and tech board all together. 
um, and it just folds out. And the way you'd play that one is you'd have these two. So there's enough in there to play one versus one. And those would go against each other like that. Good, solid, stocky cardboard. Looks pretty nice. I like it. Um, oh, token cards. It's like the, the token back, which oh, I, I don't think I've to. seen. Yeah, here you go. I'm all about tokens. Yeah. Give me some. And then just the green and red codexes. Here's the three heroes. And then just card quality is really nice. It just feels nice in your hand, like Yomi cards and uh, Flash Tool cards, just really high quality stock, just like these ones. Um, feels good, feels good to the touch. Yeah, I'm excited to just leave all this up and, and play out of the out. official one. Yeah, yeah. Here's the token cards. These were a, um, a stretch goal that we reached during the Kickstarter. And there's certain cards in game that these aren't actual cards that would go in your codex or in your deck at all, but sometimes you'll have to summon Wisps with some green stuff, or frogs. I love with... the derpiness of these. Uh... Oh, the frogs are fantastic. <laughs> yeah, yeah those, look at those eyes. The wisp and the frogs make it for me. Beautiful. The beast, squirrels from Moss Ancient. So yeah, there's a lot of cool stuff. And then it comes with the mercenaries, which these are used for the free-for-all version of the game. Um, pirates for red, these sharks for red, this cool water elemental for Argagarg. So the token cards came out really, really good. I'm glad we made that stretch goal. Um, makes me happy to see that in the game. Yep, no one's more excited then, about them that yeah. no one's more excited about that than me. Yeah. Yeah. What what colors do you play mostly in codex? Uh black and green. Okay, so you're all about the <laughs> skeletons and the wisps and whatnot. Yeah. You gotta get them. Yep, yep. Until the gray ruins the day as always. <laughs> Destroy all tokens, yeah. Okay, so then red. Similar concept here. Just all the red cards. And those we'll we'll be getting those into that red codex a little bit later. And then, yeah, the same uh, same health tracker over there. Pretty good. You need health tracker against red because they're constantly blowing you up, so. Like that it comes pre-assembled? Yes. I would really be upset if I had to, like, build it myself because I'm terrible at that kind of thing anyway. Okay, so then going in here, this, I was curious how this was going to be done. So these are the tech cards that come in the core set. And so there's a tower and a surplus card for each player. Tower, surplus, there's two of those. There's the Heroes Hall and the Tech Lab, which those are used in the three player, three versus three we call it, um, three hero versus three hero mode. So you'll need those. And inside here is all the different specs in the entire game. Um, so you don't have you don't have any of these. This is blue, black, white, purple, and the, uh, the two neutral colors, bashing and finesse. But you'll use these later on when you can purchase the uh, the blue, black, white, and purple factions separately. And those are gonna come out in their own, as far as I know, um, they're gonna come out in their own single expansion for each one. So you'll have those cards already. Um, they'll probably come in there too. I'm not, I'm not entirely certain, but here's the here's more tech cards in case you need them. And then the ones you need for red and green. So then uh, that all fits inside this box. The cards have very specific places they go. If, these will all be inside the binders, so you'll probably just remove everything, have the two binders be in here, and then all the, the tracking chits and the mats, so everything's going to fit really nicely, but yeah, the box design's pretty good, though. I'm, I'm digging this. Cool, good stuff. Let's get this Let's get this core set out of the way so we can open up what we've all been waiting for here, which is the deluxe set. So this is like the, the premium version of the game. Um, this comes with all of the expansions. In it, so you don't have to wait. If you if you pledge for this, or if you want to pre-order the deluxe set on our website at SerlingGames.com, um, you can check out the deluxe set early before the blue, purple, white, and uh, black factions even come out. And actually, before we before we actually open it, I want to show the back of the box too. The front of the box looks really nice, it's like a big treasure chest. But uh, this thing is huge. I don't know if you guys have a, like any reference for how big this is. But uh, yeah, let's. It's a there big box. Go. Yeah. This thing is this thing is tremendous. We'll cover a lot of shelf space. I was curious if this would fit in my luggage on the way here to Pasadena. It almost didn't. <laughs> um, but this is all you need, though. If you have this, you have pretty much everything that Codex has to offer and ever will. And so, if you are really interested in getting into this game and exploring it for all that it's worth, this is the thing to get. You will have the neutral faction, the red, the green, the blue, the black, the white, and the purple. Everything is in here. 
um, including all the sweet binders. So, but before we open it up, though, the back has some really awesome art. Just different units from each faction. This is gorgeous. Like, I, I want to display this backwards um, on my wall. So that's pretty great, though. But let's do this. All right. All right. Here we go. Oh. Looking good already. The deluxe set comes with that familiar health tracker there. The familiar tracking jits. Let's get those over there. The same rule book that comes in the core set, so everything looks pretty good so far. Um, this, so what are these? These like are. Boards. Well, allow you to play uh, up to five players, I think, right out of the box. Right. Yeah. Let's see. So these are these are simpler boards than the uh, the the nice ones we saw in the core set. The hard. These are like more of a cardboard. Um, Some sort of cardstock there. Yeah, it's like cardstock. Um, and we'll get into why you you need these. These aren't the real boards you're looking at though that, that you want in the deluxe set. But yeah, you're right though. Um, this game supports up to five players, and so if you have one deluxe set, you can play up to five players in free for all. But here's the thing that you've been looking for, um, and you've probably seen these a bunch with the Codex videos that myself LK404 has posted the. Uh, the tournament videos at FSX and a lot of things, but the cloth mats. Um, these are also available as a side purchase. Um, I forget how much, I think somewhere around like 25. But here's the cloth mat that comes in the deluxe set. And you get two of these, and these are what you're gonna play on mostly. So there we go, nice mouse pad quality. Bright bleed on the colors. Yeah, that's different from what we're used to. The one we usually have is a little bit darker. This is like, much more colorful in the contrast. I like it. Got more like deep reds and greens there. So that comes with two of those, and then the three the three boards if you want to play it free for all, or if the people you're playing with don't have their own, right? So let's put these guys away. Nice. I was curious if we we're going to be able to play five play right out of the box. So that's good. All right. So as you've already seen, the red. Faction binder. Oh, thank you. The green faction binder. And black. This is the first of the new ones. This is the Black Hand Scourge. Um, and all of these have that custom cut with the the uh, the top part of the sleeve sliced away so that easy access to all the cards. Black Hand Scourge, pretty nice. Here's the purple Vortas Enclave. Awesome. Here's LK404's favorite here. The White Star Order. Rook, Grave, and Setsuki. Pretty good. And this is the one that I've been waiting for, actually. The Flagstone Dominion. Blue. Um, nice, proud colors of truth, honor, and justice. Pretty great. Exciting. I support um, Flagstone. That looks pretty good. I support Flagstone. <laughs> OK, what is this? This is like some sort of notepad. Um, this looks like a spacer of some kind. Are they dividers? Maybe they're dividers. Oh, that makes more sense. Yeah, okay. Let's, yeah, let's that's, not, that's, not, that's not a notepad. You can keep notes throughout the game. Yeah, totally. <laughs> so right okay, so the same the, the same tech cards we saw in the core set. It's got, I see finesse on one side. I'm not going to open these, but I'm sure they have all 20 specs. Um, I'll verify that, but it should be okay. Um, and here's all the cards. Ooh, map cards. These were another stretch goal that we had for the Kickstarter. Ooh, it's gonna be a little bit tighter. When you guys open those for me? Yeah, so they're definitely dividers. So you have the, uh, the red, oh, yeah, green, they got colors. blue, black, white, purple. Looks those like must be for the starter decks. Yep. That sounds right. So um, in Codex, you don't always put the starter decks, the 10 card starting deck that comes that you play with at the beginning of the game, in your binder. So I'm sure these, this area here is for that. So let's check it out. Um, so here's the bashing, finesse. Here's all the cards for green. All the cards for red, purple, white, black, and blue. And then the insert is also interesting. So the space to hold everything is kind of the the mantra of certain games here. So the uh, taking a look at the inside of the box, you could roll up the the mats. And those, when they're rolled up appropriately, I'm doing a really poor job here. And those will fit in the side of the box here. The place for the tokens here, I'm guessing on the side. Yeah, the chits go there. 
So you can separate everything out. Um, let's see the map cards. So the map cards were like a, uh, a bonus thing we got in the, the Kickstarter. And they're basically like effects that um, affect the board and change up the way the game is played. Like this one's called Big Game Hunters and it's each player gets an extra two gold during their upkeeps. There's the hard times mill, which workers cost an extra one gold to hire. So there's little little changing effects that can alter the way the game is played and make certain things stronger, certain things weaker, just kind of change it up. Um, but uh, yeah, see, Clan of Toys is putting the different tokens in their respective spots. Taking a guess. Taking a guess at where they're supposed to go. The binders will all fit nice and snug right here in the center, which is pretty great. And those spacers, We'll go yeah. here, I imagine. Yeah, just keep it. Yeah, because the, the 10 card starter decks, we use the, the uh, neutral as a reference. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And then there's one somewhere. I think we, we sleeved one of them. But anyway, that would go like here, and then you'd use the divider to block it off. That way you could separate the cards um, by their starting decks, and you could easily pick them out of the box. And a nice spot for add-ons and tech cards. Indeed. Right there. Yep. Um, this guy could probably just pretty much go anywhere. Um, map cards would fit also in this side. But yeah, I'm pretty pleased with how this set up. I was not sure how we'd be able to hold absolutely everything in one go, but it looks like everything kind of checks out the way it's supposed to. Pretty epic box. Yeah, now I'm stoked. No, I, just, I can't get over the art though. The art's too cool on the back. It's pretty awesome. Yeah, looking forward to using this bad boy in combat here. <laughs> Blue Bender, yeah. I'm all about it. Okay. Who would have thought? <laughs> yeah, cool, cool. Very good stuff. All right. Okay, so we actually put together um, the box to the best of our ability. So we have all the different shits in their own respective locations. Tech cards go here. All the binders are, are lined up in the bottom here. Uh, we put all the cards inside, so they look nice and beautiful inside the uh, inside the things. The easy pull, easy pull thingamajiggies. What do we call these things? Pockets. Pages? Pockets? Sleeves? I want to say sleeves, all, and I know that's wrong. All so. of the above. All I'll the above. Take it. Yeah, yeah. Um, the starting decks we put in these sections here, so they're they're labeled by their their colored card, so you know where to pull. Um, the reason why there's so much space here, these are not sleeved. We didn't put these in the card sleeves. But if you sleeve it out, there's going to be enough space for you to fit all the cards you need in here, um, in, including the uh, the token cards, which we put here, and the map cards, and uh, the neutral decks, because the neutral decks themselves don't have these these binders. So neutral decks being um, River and Troc, those guys are in here as well, the entire spec. So if you had sleeved all of it up, it would all fit. But right now, I'm just using the, uh, the health meter to kind of keep it all structured together. But everything seems to fit pretty well in the box. So, might need a team press. Yeah. Oh, 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 even. Beautiful. Nice. There we go. And that would be the deluxe set of Codex Card Time Strategy. I'm, I'm, I'm hype. Are you hype? <laughs> I can tell. Yeah, yes. I'm, I'm hype. Indeed. Beautiful. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We hope you're excited for Codex coming out later this year. Um, you can pre-order the game right now. If you miss the Kickstarter, you can go to SerlinGames.com and pre-purchase it there. Also, you can check us out on uh, BGG. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the forums. Yeah, Board Game Geek. Yep. Everyone knows the acronym. <laughs> BGG. <laughs> BGG. All right. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much for watching, guys. We'll see you next time. All right. Later. <laughs> <laughs> I think you ruined it. <laughs> you ruined the thing. <laughs> it's going like a the end. I think I, that's okay. I think it, it could roll. The mic's crazy sensitive. I think I then ruined the take because then I laughed. So then. No, you laughing at the end of the take is good. It's good. Okay. All right, chill. Let's play some games.